Cleaning the fuel injection nozzles is next. Hoppy's number 9 gun cleaning solvent's the best cleaning solution. A 20 to 30 minute soaking's all that's usually necessary. Then, follow with solvent rinse and then air dry prior to inspection. A nozzle is not necessarily clean and satisfactory for use if the cleaning solution no longer changes color. The proper inspection of field inspecting these assemblies is through the use of a 10 power magnifying glass. Both fuel nozzles and fuel restrictors should be shiny clean with no evidence of film or particulate contamination. Only proper inspection can verify a nozzle has been properly cleaned. An increase in indicated fuel flow at various power settings is generally the first indication that nozzles need cleaning. Engine operational problems occur if contamination becomes extreme. Substantial fuel stains around a nozzle also indicate the need for cleaning. And, like the filter, any unusual contaminant should be identified and its source located and corrected. Be sure to refer to Bendix Bulletin RS-77 Revision 2 and Lycoming Service Instruction 1414. Do not, under any circumstances, use lock wire, pins, or other metal items to remove contamination from the nozzles. This affects calibration. When cleaning two-piece nozzle assemblies, be sure each restrictor is kept with its respective body. Simply use separate containers for each nozzle assembly. If you're only cleaning the restrictors, which is permitted between annual inspections, work with each cylinder separately by removing, cleaning, inspecting, and reinstalling the restrictor and reconnecting the fuel line. Remember, if you lose a fuel restrictor, you'll have to buy an entire new nozzle body assembly. These restrictors are flow-matched to their respective bodies and are only sold as assemblies. <laughs>